Okay guys, welcome back to tutorial number 37 and in this video we are going to be learning about a built-in symbol called symbol.iterator. Now there are, there are a couple of built-in symbols other than the symbol.iterator and I recommend you to go through the documentation to learn more about them. And in the documentation they will be termed as well-known symbols. So in this video, let us understand the use of the built-in symbol symbol.iterator which is essential moving forward. So if you recall a concept from one of the earlier videos, we learned that ES2015 provides a new way to iterate over objects and that was the for off loop. But the for off loop can't be used with all types of objects. For an object to work with the for off loop, it needs to have a special method and this special method is called as the iterator method. So iterator method. And how do we know if the object has an iterator method? By checking to see if the object has a method defined for the key symbol.iterator. So this is where this well-known symbol symbol.iterator comes into action. So let's look, let's look at an example to get a clear understanding of what I just explained. So I'm going to comment this out. Okay, so now I'm going to create a string, let str equals hello. I'm also going to create an array, one comma two comma three. Let's also create a number, so let num equals five. And then let's also create an object. This is just going to have name Chandler. Now what I'm going to do is log to the console. Um, let's let's have for string. And over here, I'm going to check type of str, which is the object here, str, and then symbol dot iterator change this back again symbol dot iterator and I'm going, to, I'm going to copy this for the other objects as well and I'm going to explain what they mean in just a bit so for string for array for number and for object and str is going to be array St this is going to be num and then OBJ. So what we are doing here is checking to see if a method exists for the object at this particular key. So at symbol.iterator, if type of string of symbol.iterator returns a method or a function, then this object can be used with the for off loop. So now let's have a look which of these types can be used with the for off loop. So for string, it's a function. That means we can use a string in a for off loop. For array, we can use a for off loop because the type of the method is function or the type of method at symbol.iterator is a function. But for number and object, it is undefined. So that means to say that we cannot use the for off loop with number and object. Now, that is the main use of symbol.iterator to check if for of loop can be used with a particular object or not. Now, does that mean that objects are not iterable? Well, no. We can write our own special iterator method, this right here, so that even an object can be used for, with the for of loop. And that is what we are going to be learning about in the coming videos. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.